Hi everyone, welcome. I hope you can see me and I hope this is working well. Um, hi, this is our first live stream, obviously pre-planned. Um, we've done live stream before, but we've never done it scheduled ahead of time. So I'm working with a new software that I've never used before and I think it's working well. So um, hi and welcome to yoga for when you're not feeling like um, you're not feeling motivated or you're not feeling like moving at all or you really don't want to exercise even if you know that it's good for you. Um, I wanted to start by giving you a little introduction for where I come from with this stuff because I think it's really easy to look at other people and say, well, that person is always motivated or they do such a good job um, and that's just not who I am and I want to be like super real with you and say that I am not a motivated person to do exercise or anything in general. It is not motivation that I pull from. Um, if it was, then I would do nothing for several months of the year because let's be real, like this, it's January right now. It's cold, it's dark. Um, you know, we get snowstorms and like all I want to do is stay cozy and warm and not move at all. <laughs> so having the motivation is probably the wrong word. A lot of times when I am moving, it's because I just don't give myself a choice. It's because I hit a point where I know that I need it so much that it doesn't matter whether I you know, want to or not. I don't, I don't really give myself a choice with it. Um, but I am with that you know, really kind and compassionate with myself. And I think that that's also super important to understand. So um, I wanted to offer you a class where we start really slow and move our way into moving uh, and do that with some kindness and compassion and do it with, I don't know, some a little deliciousness is what I like to say, you know, like a little bit of, uh, you know, like enjoyment with the movement. So we're going to do stretching today and we're going to start on our backs and we are going to slowly work our way up to maybe just a little bit of floor work and then we're going to come down to the ground and that'll be it. For this class, you can have a blanket and two blocks if you'd like. I have a strap as well, you don't have to. And then water is super helpful to have as well. So I've got my water glass here. Um, a couple of notes about why we're starting with stretching. I think it's helpful one to understand where we're coming from. So why, so we're starting with stretching for a couple of reasons. One, because stretching, any kind of movement um, in certain, you know, different areas of your body will increase the blood flow to those areas of the body. So if you're feeling cold, stretching can also be something to, again, just get the blood moving, especially to your legs and feet this time of year. Uh, it also, uh, activates your parasympathetic nervous system, which we'll talk a lot about here. I mentioned it a lot in my classes. It's really important to activate this uh, stress response, this rest and digest uh, and release, right? So to come out of stress and into relaxation, release, uh, resting, digesting, and allowing the body to feel soft and heavy um, and just kind of get out of the, you know, like alertness that we can be in a lot of, um, lot of our lives. And this is where we start to digest better. And so if you have like an upset stomach, this can be really good to relax your stomach and to, to support your body uh, and your mind. And it also increases endorphins. Now endorphins are kind of like our reward system in the brain. So when we get those endorphins moving, we can feel feelings of joy, feelings of um, happiness. We can feel also a lot of pain relief. So um, it's a nice way to care for the body and, um, you know, and to also relieve any tension that might be in the muscles. Plus, it's really great for your posture. I was taking off my sweater, but it's a little chilly in here, so I'm going to keep it on because uh, this is lazy yoga, so we get to do that. So um, we're going to start on our backs. Um, and again, you can really find a comfortable position. This is meant to be landing where you're at. Um, I went through a period of time where I had a lot of um, sadness, seasonal sadness and seasonal depression. And for me, with that, I was having trouble sleeping. And so I had this nightly routine that I did every night, um, which helped me to get 
and prepare myself for sleep and also help me get my exercise in. So um, we're gonna start on our backs and you can either you can either begin with your legs stretched nice and long and just kind of land like a starfish, stretching arms and legs nice and long on the ground if that's where you're at. Uh, or you can bend your knees, take your feet out a little wide and then knock your knees together. And we're just gonna land here for a moment and allow the ground to kind of pull you in and draw you down. And when we're lacking motivation, one of the biggest steps we can take is just to begin. Right? Like we don't need to do it all at once. Just a tiny little step in the direction of taking care of your body and your mind and your breath and your heart. That was a big step. So you can stay here if you want um, or if you want start to bring one knee into your chest and give that a squeeze. Now, it's so interesting because different times of the year, my body is a lot more limber and you know I might start just like this and it would be really easy and not a big deal. But for me right now, this time of year, I'm just a little bit more tense because of the cold and because it's a little hard on, on my tissues. So. I usually keep one foot on the ground and the other knee just lightly drawn in towards the heart. So I'm not squeezing as hard as I can, I'm just kind of drawing it in towards my body. And as I land here, I'll kind of stretch through the back of the neck and drop the chin a little bit. And once I get into place, if you know, if you'd like, you can give yourself like three breaths, three big breaths. as you land here and as you remain here that over time you might feel a little bit less resistance in the tissues and you might start to land here and feel a little bit calmer and a little bit more relaxed and give ourselves just a couple more breaths in this shape And again, if you'd like, you can take this to the next stage. So we're going to bring hands to the back of the leg and kind of like weave the fingers together as you stretch your leg and your heel and your foot and your toes up to the sky. Awesome. And so here we're starting to stretch into the leg now. And if you want, you can either point and flex your foot so adding a little bit of you know, circulation to your foot and to your toes. Or if you want, you can roll your ankle. Maybe a couple of times in one direction and a couple of times in the other. Yeah. Awesome. And again, we'll just give it a couple of long, slow breaths to land here and ah, feel our way on into practice and into moving. And give yourself just two more breaths here. And 
And so then from there, again, these are all options, just different things that you can do if you'd like. If you want, you can bring your knee to the outside of your ribs and your hand to the outside of your foot. And this is called um, a half happy baby. It's a really fun pose. It always makes me smile to say that name. Um, so if you want, you can kind of draw that knee and the hip open. Um, and then just relax the rest of your body. And so here, if you had that foot, the opposite foot on the ground, you could stretch the leg long. Yeah, that's still feeling a little bit too open for me. And so you just kind of open up the hip and notice, right, if you're kind of crunching your foot here, you want to keep the foot right above the knee. Yeah. And keep landing here on the ground. This is also a nice practice or a nice way to begin if you're feeling like a little strung out and it's just really hard to settle. Right? Sometimes a lot of movement can help you kind of like get into a groove. Um, but for me, it's like just put me on the ground for a minute. <laughs> Let me land and then I can do a little bit more. Maybe it's that winter energy. Who knows? All right, let's give it three breaths here. All right, slowly come back to center. You can give that knee one big hug if you want and then send the leg long. Ah, there we go, now I can stretch. Um, and then when you're ready, you can do the same with the opposite foot. So the opposite knee can kind of come in towards the chest. And again, you want it to be really light and easy here. This is barely a shape, right? In yoga we have these, um, we use the word pose a lot, which I think can just send the wrong message. We're not posing like we pose for a photo, right? We're just making a different shape with the body. And these different shapes are, you know, different ways that we're working with the body and the breath and the nervous system and gravity, right? We kind of find some different, different energy, right? Different experiences, right? This shape landing on the ground has a very different feel than when we're, say, doing a standing balance or an airplane pose or a crescent lunge, right? Something where we're using a lot more muscles. This is kind of the opposite, right? It's a little bit of undoing. And so most of the work really is just continuing to bring the mind to the right here and the right now. Let's take two more breaths here. One more breath in. Yeah, and let it go. Ah, awesome. And then when you're ready, and again, if you'd like, you could lift that leg up to the sky. So now you're stretching that leg nice and long and bring your hands to the back of the leg and just kind of press the foot up to the sky. Yeah. And then again, if you want, you can point and flex the foot. listening for those pops and cracks. So, so seasonally appropriate. <laughs> and then you can just kind of land here and again, right? The goal is to undo, right? Is to not do, right? To stay in this moment and to stay in your breath. So let's give ourselves three breaths. 
to really land here and feel present. Nice big breath in. And let it go. Awesome. And then when you're ready, and if you'd like, you can bend that knee and kind of bring it to the outside of your ribs and then reach your hand to the outside the baby toe edge of that foot and then you kind of reach for that as a big hip opener so we're just going to give ourselves some space to be here and to just breathe into it and to just let the tissue open You'll notice or you'll feel when that blood flow starts to increase um, to the areas that you're stretching when it starts to warm up. Right? You might feel a little bit more warmth. You might even feel a little bit more like mobility, almost smoothness in those parts. Or if you were to bring your attention to the leg that we used first, you might notice that um, feels a little bit more open, yeah, a little bit more mobile, and that's kind of what we're going for, right? So just giving the tissue a chance to open up. Most of us, right, most of our lives have become really sedentary, and the human body um, has been, you know, really continuing to evolve over millennia to be active and moving a lot. Right? Think about the patterns of living a hundred years ago. We didn't grocery shop for you know weeks of supplies at a time, right? We were gathering food sometimes every day, right? Going to the market and that's just to like feed ourselves. Okay, there's just a lot less movement and mobility today. We can order food. We don't even have to go anywhere. <laughs> and so with that comes, you know, it's just important to get ourselves to move the body. And it's not always just these like big exercises, but um, small stuff like stretching the muscles and stretching the tissue. All right, let's come on back to center. I don't want to do it too long. All right, let's stretch both legs long. Even if you didn't begin here, you can give this a try now and just see how you feel. Um, you might notice that your legs feel a little bit more open now. Your um, core might even feel more open. You might feel more open in the ribs. You might feel more open in the legs. And so what we're looking for here is just to feel a little bit more mobile in the bottom of the body. So if we can get the legs moving, we can kind of get the rest of the body to catch up. So. Um, now we're going to start to move a little bit. We're going to bring both feet onto the ground again, if you'd like. And if you want, you can take your feet nice and wide and then join me, if you'd like, dropping the knees from one side to the other, like windshield wipers. And here you can send the arms out nice and wide. And just let the knees move side to side. So now we're kind of moving into bringing mobility. You might feel it to the ribs and the belly. And this is how we start to bring again, right? That circulation to the rest of the body. All right, and give ourselves just two more wipes. One and two. And then when you're ready, you're just gonna land on um, in one direction and you're gonna roll onto your side there. Yeah. You can pause for a moment if you want. You can just kind of like give yourself one more big stretch ah, and openness. And then we're going to come all the way onto hands and knees. And again, you can take your time. It's chilly in here, so I'm keeping my layers on. Um, but that's kind of the way this class is meant to be. This isn't like, you know, um, be your best self yoga this is yoga when you're not feeling it 
come at all and this is meant to get you to start to feel this desire to move right so we're just kind of in this beginning space let's bring our hands onto the ground right underneath the shoulders and knees on the ground right underneath your hips and when you press into the ground I want you to start to activate your shoulders a little bit and if you can you can kind of bring them away from your ears and stare at the ground yeah so right in between your hands and you'll notice when you do that you kind of drop your chin a little bit and so your hands are pressing your shoulders are nice and strong see if you can get your tailbone to inch away from your head so just kind of get your back body nice and long and then a slight squeeze of your belly towards your spine so you're engaging your core here perfect so we're going to land in this tabletop we're going to be here for just a couple of breaths and as you breathe, if you can, you can try to bring the breath into your ribs and expand the ribs as you breathe in. Awesome. So there's a lot of science behind the breathing of the ribs and I won't get into that today but we're going to use that rib breathing breath which is a little bit more stimulating to start to wake up the body so we're going to use that rib breath we're going to keep breathing into the ribs as you lift your tailbone and lift your head up to the sky and we're going to breathe in here nice big breath in and then on our exhale we're going to round from the tailbone through the mid back dropping the head down to the ground and exhale, letting the ribs contract, squeezing out all the air. Yeah. Inhale, tailbone lifts and head lifts, and the breath comes back into the ribs as the ribs open and expand. And then slowly you'll round and empty, right? Finding that cat pose, rounding the back, emptying out. Let's do three more. Inhale. And exhale. Perfect. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And just follow the breath. And when you're ready, you round and empty, letting that exhale out. Awesome, let's come back to neutral. Just take the time. Awesome. So now we're going to move into um, a little bit more movement. So keeping the hands on the ground, we're going to move into movement, everyone. Whew, my goodness. Let's send one leg back. And it can, you can remain on your toes and just send your heel back. And press your hands into the ground and then start to draw your shoulders away from the ears. Here we go. And so we're using the core strength here. You want to really squeeze the belly towards the spine. Um, and I'm starting to warm up, so I am going to take that sweater off. It'll be easier to see me anyway. You can keep your layers on if you want. And you're going to send that leg back and then squeeze the belly into the spine. Press the hands into the ground and stay nice and strong in this table shape, right? So this kind of three-legged table. And this is perfectly enough and I mean it like this is yoga for when you're not really feeling it so if you're not really feeling it but you've made it this far that is awesome so you can stay here for those of you that are just like you get some energy to burn off you can lift up that back leg if you want you can even lift up the opposite arm if you want right so if you're really feeling like ready to move your body you can do that I'm gonna keep my foot on the ground because that's where I'm at today but you are always welcome to bring yourself into whatever shape right, is really speaking to you. Right, so we're just going to give it another two breaths. Awesome. And then we're going to lift up that back leg just for a moment and take a big step, bring the foot right up to your front hand or your hands. Um, and then if you have your blocks, you don't need to use blocks, but if you happen to have them, they can be pretty handy. And so we'll come into a low lunge here, and this is basically where we'll stay. 
A little lunge can be helpful, right, to have the blocks underneath your hands, nice long arms, and then you can kind of just um, look forward, gaze forward. But if you're not feeling that, if you're still really low on energy, just take your gaze down to the ground and stare at the earth. All right, so this really gets to be yours. Um, and if this is uncomfortable on your back knee, this is why we have this gray blanket. You can just kind of slide it underneath here. Oh my goodness. That is the heat. <laughs> Waking up with us, I guess. Um, so you can stay in your low lunge and again, supporting the back knee, giving you a nice little padding. If you want, you can bring your hands up onto your knee and kind of land here. <laughs> And now we're really starting to, it's no longer right, a, just a stretch. This is also strengthening the body. So we're moving beyond um, just the stretching to get those endorphins going, the blood flowing. Now we're moving into really waking up the body and preparing it for strength building. Um, and any good you know, movement routine is going to have some strength building with it. Um, and I say you know, good probably isn't the right word, but um, any routine where you're starting to give yourself that balanced uh, experience to counteract our general um, lack of movement, um, then it's really important to start to engage muscles. We need these muscles engaged and just stretching alone um, can lead to injury. So we want to make sure that we're doing a little bit of both. So you can stay here and if you are, again, if you're feeling it, if you did that balance table and you're like, give me more, right? if you want, you can reach your hands up nice and high and we'll just land in this low lunge. And this will just be where we end up today. This is kind of gonna be our maximum. So you're pressing into the ground and let's give ourselves three breaths to lift up through the arm bones, maybe lift up through the ribs a little bit, lift up through the sides, give yourself a little bit more breath into those ribs. Let's like, yeah, let's get that stimulating breath with three nice big breaths into the ribs. Inhale. And then exhale. Breathing in and out. One more breath in and let it go. All right, now as we let it go, we're gonna bring the hands back down to the ground. You can move the blocks to the side if you want. One hand can be on the ground. And then if your right foot is forward, then your right hand is going to be the one that lifts up to the sky. We're gonna stay here for just a breath or two. Pressing down and lifting up. And again, using new muscles right now. Now we're starting to wake up the upper body has been a little quiet, a little, um, you know, understimulated for this practice. And then we're going to start to move it. So if you want, you can make some arm circles. One and two and three. Uh, and then you can switch direction for three more. So three and two and one. And then one more breath, just stretching up to the sky. Ha, all right, we did it. So we can come back down to that tabletop, step your foot back. Let's do a couple of breaths, hands and knees on the ground, just to clear that out. So inhaling, breathing in through the ribs. Exhale, rounding and emptying. Breathing in. And again, move at your pace. Let's do just two more. There we go. All right, we're coming back to tabletop. We're going to do the same thing now on the other side. We're going to stretch the opposite leg, which for me is the left leg back. And your hands stay on the ground, and that belly firms up, squeezes up into your spine. And then with the press of your hands and the press of your knee, you have enough, right? This is enough. You can even start to stretch that heel back and get a nice stretch in the back of your hamstring, right? Your, that whole leg really waking up. 
And again, what do we know about stretching, right? We're increasing blood flow. We're stimulating endorphins, right? We're getting that um, reward system, that internal reward system pumping. Um, so you might start to feel good right now, which is great. And if you'd like, again, only if you're like, give me that next level, I wanna use my muscles, you could lift up that back leg. And if you'd like, you could also lift up the front arm, which for me, and I'll be honest, like this is why we do a nice slow and steady beginning because at this point, now I am feeling a little bit more warm and open and now I'm ready to, to continue with a little bit more balance. So I'm gonna stay lifted and extended on this side for the next three breaths. So that you do you, right? You go where, where you're at right now. Right, there's no better, there's no right or wrong. There's just where you're at and honoring it right and accepting it let's bring that front hand down and then we're going to uh, step that back foot forward Whew. and you can grab your blocks again not totally necessary I just like having them especially because my knees have been very tender lately so I try to be really conscious of the the pressure I put on my knees and the blocks do help with that I'm gonna have my hands on blocks. You could have your hands on the ground. We're just gonna take a moment to land here and really find this shape. And so that front foot is gonna press into the ground, knee right over your, the heel. You can see it here, knee over heel, and then drawing that front hip back. All right, so now we're starting to wake up these bigger muscles, right? The thigh, the glute, and this is when we start to get that blood flow really going, um, and we can start to use these muscles Right, to build more strength in the body, to start to wake things up, and then we can do something with it, right? So, you know, this is a great routine and rhythm to come into if you know like you need to move your body, but you're just really not feeling it. Um, and maybe you find yourself getting to this point and being like, that's not where I'm at right now. And then you can come back down to the ground. Like it is not necessary for us to always be so like, you know, pushing and striving, right? There is so much benefit to just honoring where we're at. So you can stay here if you want. And again, this is I'm just giving options, right? There's no better, there's no best. If you want, you can uh, reach your hands up to the sky um, or keep your hands on your front knee and just stabilize here. I'm gonna tuck my back toes because again, my knees my knees demand attention. So pressing into the ground, you can lift up through your arm bones and you can breathe here and be here and we'll do five breaths. All right, maybe stretching up through those side ribs a little bit. Stretching up through your arm bones, growing a little bit taller. <sighs> Last breath in. All right, bringing your hands back down to those blocks. And then we're going to bring one hand onto the ground. And if it is your left knee that is forward, it's your left arm that can reach up to the sky. And we'll land here. We're going to give ourselves three breaths to just feel this shape. Make any adjustments you want to make. Notice if your shoulders are feeling a little tense. And if you want, you can join me in making some circles. So we can make just three circles in each direction. These can be big sweeping circles, by the way, or they can be super small. Right? You could just you know, make tiny little circles. And once you get your three, you can switch directions. One and two and three. There we go. And then just one more breath to grow a little bit taller. Oh, there it is. All right, we're gonna come back to our tabletop now. Let's do a couple of cat and cows. Nice big breath in. Exhale it out. Whew. Now, if you were um, using this as preparation for more exercise, then this would be the time 
right, to just go on and do your thing, right, grab some weights, make, um, and you'll have a really great, um, more strength building practice. But if you're staying with me, right, if you're kind of staying with our yoga practice, you can bring your knees nice and wide, toes to touch. If you want, you can grab one of your blankets, or blankets, one of your blocks, or a blanket, uh, and bring it underneath your forehead. I'm going to keep mine nice and tall here so that you can see me. And um, I'm just going to put my forehead, just the temple, right, so that eyebrow bone to rest on the block. And that takes a lot of pressure and weight out of the neck. that we can rest a little bit. And then once I'm there, usually after a few breaths, the tissue starts to relax in my neck and shoulders, and then I can start to relax and drop the block a little bit lower, <laughs> maybe a little bit more graceful next time. And then I can bring it down to more like the medium height, and then let the shoulders relax just even more here. I'm going to say this a lot in this class and in this series, and I'll say it a lot anyway, so, um, you know, a lot of times we've got these, like, repetitive thoughts in our minds, um, you know, sometimes it can be really hard to interrupt those thoughts, so if we can't interrupt them with thought alone, we, you know, have a few different things we can do, um, one of them is to kind of distract the brain and just, you know, watch a show or, you know, go on social media and scroll for a bit, which can distract the brain, but doesn't necessarily make the, that negative thought pattern go away. But one of the ways that, again, I know consciously that really helps me, but I can't always get myself to do is to move my body. And that could be going for a walk or exercising. Um, or, you know, doing some yoga, and it's practices like this where, you know, I'll pop in my headphones and put on a really nice relaxing um, audiobook or podcast or just like some, some of my favorite relaxing music, even like a soundscape, right, so just listening to birds chirping or um, rain or something like that can really just get me out of that thought pattern and get me into relaxation. All right, so from here, we're going to come from our child's pose, or my supported child's pose, we're going to come back onto the back, if you want. Um, this is a place where you can do it. Or, you know what, let's change that up. I'm going to come down onto my belly. You can join me. We're going to stretch the legs nice and long. Yeah, and come into a supported there it is, yeah, Sphinx Pose. And you can bring your elbows onto the ground, draw your shoulders away from your ears, send your fingers nice and wide, and then just kind of press your hands into the ground. There it is, all right. So one part of the body that we didn't really get to that can use a little bit of extra support is your um, torso, so that navel to heart space area. Um, and when you let your hips drip up, drop onto the ground and your elbows to press into the ground, your heart to stretch forward, pause. You can really start to open up the torso here and that can be a huge stress reliever. So these negative thought patterns, again, they get interrupted through movement, through laughter, through connection with friends and family or um, you know, popping into a community that you really like and connecting with people there. Um, you know, there's a lot of different ways that we can do it. Dance, music, fun, getting out in the world. Um, you know, but this is one way. And, you know, if it's late at night and you're trying to get to sleep and that negative thought pattern is just in your way, then movement can be a really nice way to relieve it. So... Um, you can stay here if you want, or I'm going to give you two options for resting. One of them is crocodile pose, so you can stack your hands, forearms together, and let your head rest in your forearms, or 
You can roll onto your back and take a regular Shavasana shape. I think I'm going to head for my back. You know, it's funny. A lot of, a lot of my practice, you probably are probably picking up on it now, is kind of this ongoing conversation with my body. So um, I might have something planned, but one of the things that I have found uh, in my time practicing yoga is that I might say that I'm going to do a shape and then I get there and my body's like, no, <laughs> that's not a good one right now. Um, so then we make adjustments and I, I hope right, in our time together that what you get out of it is the ability to get into a shape and then you know, the ability to say that's not for me and to find something else. So I'm on my back and I'm in corpse pose and you can see I've also draped a blanket over me because it is chilly in here. And because you know what, we all deserve to feel comfortable and connected and relaxed. Let's give ourselves five big breaths, nice big inhale. Let it go. <sighs> Four more big breath in. Let it go. <sighs> Three more big breath in. Let it go. <sighs> Two more big breath in. Let it go. Last one, big breath in, let it go, there it is, so you can stay here if you want, or as long as you'd like, I'm going to give us about a minute of just laying on the floor, and as best you can, allowing your thoughts to kind of wander in and out of being right here and right now. mind starts to wander or if you'd like you can bring it back to the breath so noticing your breathing in and noticing your breathing out Like you can stretch your arms up overhead, stretch your toes nice and long, give yourself one of those big side rib breaths, right? Filling up your ribs with air and let it go. And we can end stacking hands on heart and just taking a moment to thank ourselves to say thank you to you for showing up and for lazy moving with me through some stretches and some breath work and maybe noticing now right, what shifts or changes have happened right maybe you feel a little bit more awake a little bit more alive a little bit more prepared to move Maybe you're just ready to sleep, and if that's true, that's great.
okay, right? Honoring exactly where you are, being with that, and moving into the rest of your day. A little, maybe a little bit of relief and a little ease, a little bit more balance. And I wish you well.